So Maurice Regis of the Airspeed Organization, I mentioned, I talked a little bit about it before, but a lot of growth and virtually all of it is e-commerce. So, you know, you've got groups like HMR Group and, and anybody that's not focused on a, an e-commerce component to their business is really going to have some trouble. So we're glad to have Maurice Regis of Airspeed International, Senior Vice President. Glad to have you, Regis. Good day, everyone. It's so nice to see everybody face to face. I think we really miss this, seeing each one and being able to interact with all of you. And I think um, I'm very honored to be part of the Asia CEO Forum here in Clark and to see all of you again here. I am Maurice Regis. I'm the Senior Vice President of Airspeed International. And I'm here to share some updates and uh, status of logistics and prospects here in Clark, Northern Luzon, and how we in Airspeed can make it happen. Airspeed has been in the industry for the past 37 years, and we have grown from a personnel of four people when it started, and we have now more than 1,000 employees under Airspeed. So at this point in time, I'd like to be able to share with you a video and a backgrounder on how we in Airspeed can make it happen. Getting a business off the ground requires a lot of ambition, a meticulous eye for detail, and a willingness to challenge the odds. But how about taking your business even higher? What you need is airspeed. For over 35 years, airspeed has been the unstoppable force. Whether by land, by air, or by sea, you can count on airspeed to provide you with world-class state-of-the-art logistics solutions that best suit your business needs. Airspeed has a wide array of business services that are end-to-end, -end, so you can be sure that your goods are safe and secure throughout its entire journey. From the factory all the way to the customer. We're still growing our product line to provide you with more modern solutions to challenges businesses face in this age, which is why we're making things happen digitally. Are you ready to bring your business to the next level? Contact us, because in Airspeed, we make it happen. You know that we're, um, as we recover from the COVID-19 pandemic, businesses are usually looking at opportunities or locations that can, they can explore in um, expanding their businesses. And then I think Clark is one of those cities, one of those areas that we are all looking at. The metropolis of Clark does not only aim to be known as one of the business capitals of Central Luzon, but also as a green city. I think Mr. Palafox might be able to expand more on that, on the green city initiatives um, and other eco-friendly initiatives. So being uh, in the heart of Central Luzon, Clark has helped boost the Philippines economy through its favorable location and appropriate distance from Metro Manila and also to the Subic Seaport. Because of this, Clark has been the host of various events and activities such as the Asia, Southeast Asian Games in 2019. And of course, I think we are also a partner of the current Spartan Race that's going to be held here in the new Clark City starting tomorrow or tonight. And of course, the other improvement of its road network which resulted to increasing flights seen at the Clark International Airport. And I would like to be able to point out was that according to NEDA, Central Luzon was among the four regions with the highest economic growth in 2021, despite the pandemic. Of the 5.7% economic growth in the country, Central Luzon was the third largest contributor to the increase of 0.8 percentage points, accounting for 10.9% of the total GDP of the Philippines. These add to the premise that Clark is indeed helping to raise Central Luzon into its dynamic growth. Now, Clark has become the hub for business, manufacturing here in, in the Freeport, tourism, and logistics. I think we all know that here in Clark, we have both FedEx and UPS. So, being the new business attraction, 
Clark has had several infrastructure development. And I think what, what we have to first point out, especially for logistics, would be the Clark International Airport Terminal 2. It, um, to continuously improve the development of the airport and to make Luzon more accessible, last August 2019, the operations and management of Clark Airport was awarded to LIPAD, or Luzon International Premier Airport Development, which purpose is basically to manage, maintain, and develop the Clark Airport. With this, the airport will be able to accommodate now more than 8 million passengers and operate 686 weekly flights from 18 airlines, some of which that are operating right now would be Emirates, Qatar, Scoot, Jeju Air, and so much more. Actually, yesterday, we went to the Clark Airport to physically look at this new terminal. It's something that, of course, we can be proud of. It's, not, it's very beautiful, and it has a state-of-the-art facilities that all of the passengers will be able to, um, to enjoy this beautiful airport. Now, being in the being the freight forwarding industry or in the logistics industry. Of course, our main concern is how will LIPAD support uh, logistics, uh, logistics at the international airport? LIPAD was able to share with us that there, is, there are benefits for having um, the air cargo operations here in Clark. Number one, with the, with the international airport, it is located in the Clark Freeport zone. The city has tax and other financial incentives. It is also strategically located as an advantage for manufacturing and industrial businesses as it links to major free port zones to the nearby towns of northern and central Luzon, like of course in Subic and we also have in Tarlac and we also have in Baguio. The city's road network is connected to major expressway, so it connects the Clark Airport to this uh, major uh, road networks like NLEX, SLEX, TPLEX, SETEX, Skyway, making the city air, city air, city's airport more accessible to Metro Manila. I think, again, for those in the, uh, in the logistics industry, we'd like to be able to make sure that there are ground handling facilities or agents that can accommodate handling different types of commodities aside from the regular semicon or other GCR cargo they can also handle special commodities like live animals, pharmaceuticals, perishables, and other dangerous goods. It was also pointed out to us yesterday that the custom bonded warehouse has a capacity of more than 20,000 square meters of storage facilities with cold chain capability. Especially if we have now, we are now moving a lot of pharmaceuticals and other special cargoes. This is also very important to have cold chain capabilities. Now, of course, for us to release the cargo, I think it's very important. The support in customs clearance should not be a problem. So the Clark's Bureau of Customs Operations is available 24-7. Now, aside from that, I was saying, okay, so those are the advantages of the Clark International Airport. So what is it in it for the logistics industry? It was nice to note, and we were happy to note, that they had included logistics in their master plan. So thank you to the um, LIPAD president, Mr. N Mr. Noel Manakil and uh, Evangeline Gabor, the VP, and Paulo Santos and Marielle Ginto, who toured us all over the, the airport. And at the same time, was able to express that logistics is something that they have included in their master plan. What they want to be able to develop within the, the airport would be that they, will, they want to make um, Clark as a logistics hub and a cargo gateway, not just for the Philippines, for the domestic um, environment, but also to the APAC region. They have an all-inclusive community that should cater to the intermodal, using multimodal mode of air, sea, land, and soon, hopefully soon, will be the rail. Then we have the availability of the different stakeholders. Of course, we have the customs brokers, uh, the Bureau of Customs, we have also the truckers, and all those involved in logistics are, are here, part of Clark, 
and part of the cargo ecosystem and supply chain. And I think with more, uh, with the Clark Airport, and we are really hoping that there will be more airlines that will be operating soon at the Clark Airport because that prov will provide more carrier options for passengers going to destinations that were not previously catered to and at the same time, increase the cargo space capacity at the Clargo Airport. Like, I mean, some of the manufacturers here would bring their cargo all the way to Manila because uh, there were not sufficient flights or cargo space available. And I think with the new, with additional flights coming in, uh, there will be more cargo space and that would mean, of course, less logistics costs because you don't have to track in, track to Manila all your cargo. I mean, that would, for us, it would be, or even for the consumers, less logistics costs would translate to less um, cost, of, uh, cost of, the, of goods that we have or we are buying right now. And I think another, another development that we're really looking forward to would be the new Clark City Food Processing Terminal and International Food Market which aims to attract investors from different sectors in storage and facilities handling. This will also help small, medium-scale industries in the North and Central Luzon to distribute their products to Manila and the rest of the Philippines. Now, another infrastructure that's definitely needed, especially for the cargo industry, would be the Subi Clark Railway Project. This is part of the National Railway Luzon System Development Framework that will improve freight services on the free port zone of Subic and Clark. This will link Subic Port with Clark International Airport and the other manufacturing companies here in Clark and its nearby areas. You know, um, rail, I think Mr. Palafox would also agree with me, that rail is acknowledged to be the most efficient and eco-friendly among all modes of transportation. And as such, might pave way for us on our green logistics program in the logistics industry. Next, we have the Aguilas Subic. I think this is the former shipbuilding facility of Hanjin that will be uh, utilized there in Subic. Therefore, the ports are really considered the windows of the country and development and growth. It is very necessary to be able to build the road network surrounding the facilities. Now we see that, that we will see the Subic, uh, we look forward to the construction of the access road that will link Subic Freeport to SETEX. I think if you were, you would remember 2015, um, we had a huge port congestion in Metro Manila because there were uh, road roadblocks for us to, to bring in. There's, there was no free flow of bringing in and moving out the containers outside of Manila of Manila port in, and also of the Asian terminal. And it, that, that uh, port congestion was quite, quite long. And there was a time we were saying that we, we had already several vessels all lined up at Manila Bay. No? So the road infrastructure is very important to complement um, the ports, whether it be an airport or the seaport, so that there will be a free flowing of goods and services towards the airport and the seaport. So with all this uh, construction of the road networks, including, the, um, including also the Bataan-Cavite interlink bridge, which is also one of the infrastructure that will address the solution for the long travel of commuters, as this is Cable State Bridge on Manila. So travel time from Bataan to Cavite for only 40 minutes and will help in decongesting the traffic in Metro Manila. It is also permanently connected to the provinces in Central and to the Southern Luzon more efficiently and can open up several economic opportunities for the provinces in the region. This can also attract or bring in more tourists, both from the southern and also going here into central and northern Luzon. Then we have the Tarlac, Sambales, MacArthur Highway leading to the new Clark City. If we are developing new Clark City, then we should have be able the road networks also available. And this will be via the Kalangitan Access Road that will immensely help the movement of goods and services. 
Then we have the underground train station of the PNR inside Clark, which is part of the 53-kilometer PNR Clark phase, which is from Malolos to Clark segment. And this would, of course, shorten the travel time of commuters from Manolos to Clark Pampanga and utilize also the facilities here, including the in Clark International Airport. Now, um, at this point in time, I'm not really very sure how many percent has been done, how many percent is, uh, when it's actually going to be finished. So, of course, the pandemic has delayed some projects, but this is a very important component in um, moving people and cargo to Clark. Um, and I think um, rail is something that is not existent except for the LRTs and the MRTs in Metro Manila. But rail is um, a modality that is not existent, existing in the logistics industry in moving cargo. So I hopefully, even um, with this rail, we can maybe um, make use also of the rail from Malolos or from Manila go, coming to Clark. So the infrastructures and improvements in Clark will definitely help the logistics companies like us to transport and fulfill our services seamlessly to the northern and central Luzon. This, of course, translates to lesser cost. And I think that's most of the major concern of our clients right now. Now, for airspeed, even before the COVID-19 pandem pandemic happened, we at Airspeed already embraced digital transformation to improve our logistics and fulfillment solutions. I mean, we saw it coming. I mean, um, and there's no way. We cannot, we cannot stop it. We just have to embrace it because digitalization is really here and part of our environment. First, we are offering a third-party logistics integrated service, which wherein we offer businesses can outsource a logistics provider fulfilling their first, middle mile, and last mile requirements. We at Airspeed have already been doing that. As, as you said, Richard, the e-commerce is really growing by lips and bounds. And we're not talking only of last mile because that's, that's what we are more concerned is the last mile because it's the last touch to, towards the consumer. But there are other components in the e-commerce and that would, include, um, that, that would include also our um, warehousing, that would include um, our last mile delivery, and that would include our um, first mile, and even the middle mile, and also our um, pick and pack, and of course, sometimes there has to be return to merchants facility that we are able to service. So we are, by doing this, we want to be able to lessen the worry of our sellers in transporting their goods. And uh, Airspeed has made it one of our major activities, especially during the pandemic and up to now. If you take note, during our video, we were able to present our new concepts. We have our speed food, speed grocer, and you know what? We were able to set up those uh, activities right on the smack of during the pandemic. Why? Because we had to address the needs of our consumers. We were going towards what is needed by the market right now. And doing something different during the pandemic was really um, a major challenge, but I think we were glad that we were able to do it and serve our customers. It's a modified on-demand uh, service that we were able to put up during that time. Now, Aside from that, for um, e-commerce, we were also to provide um, the warehousing facility for storing items, which is a healthy demand in the country. This is also addressed to the needs also, not only of the e-commerce, but for our other manufacturing clients in the, that we have been dealing with. We, with this, Airspeed also has a wide array of warehouses and storage solutions situa situated in different parts of the Philippines. We have various warehouses in Paranaque, Cebu, Davao, Cagayan de Oro, and in Clark to take good care of your items until they are fully fulfilled. And in line also with the e-commerce, we are now fulfilling and shipping orders is also a laborious task. That's why we have established our e-fulfillment service, which is now the newest hassle-free solution we offer at Airspeed. 
Our team can customize services such as inbound, storage, outbound, delivery, and other valued-added services that we offer to ease the fulfillment all the way up to the shipping process. Now, at Airspeed also, we believe that the local SMEs need to be highlighted, especially during the pandemic. With this, we came up with an online shopping platform for locally made products dubbed as Kahanga Hangam Pilipinas through our UpDeck uh, platform, one of Airspeed's group's subsidiaries. Our um, UpDeck is the one handling this platform that we, the aim is really to be able to sell through the local or the SMMEs some local products of the Philippines. This is where um, customers can easily purchase Filipino-made products and at the same time for Airspeed to deliver it right away. Here at Clark, Airspeed is on its way in improving logistics through our Clark Hub. And this warehouse will serve as a gateway for Northern and Southern Central Luzon. Sorting and dispatch of domestic and international shipments have already been done here. Now, what does it mean? It means that this improves transient time and cost since shipments do not have to be brought all the way to Manila. Now, when we lessen the transit time, what that means, we are improving the customer experience. Now, at the same time, we are looking forward for more flights to operate out of Clark for us going to Visayas and Mindanao because that's what our hub operations here in Clark will be doing is also to be able trans to transport goods towards, our, our, uh, towards Visayas and Mindanao at a faster pace instead of bringing it still back all the way to Manila. So we'd really like to be able to shorten the transit time of moving cargoes all over the Philippines. Because of these solutions that Airspeed offers, we are able to help businesses from large enterprises, SMEs to MSMEs. Whatever their cargo is, whether it be pharmaceutical, we are, we are handling pharmaceutical, consumer goods, even heavy cargoes or even project cargoes, and other perishables, we are sure to make it happen through our freight forwarding services, warehouse facilities, customs clearance capabilities, and customized logistics to ensure we provide what our clients needs. I hope I was able to share information and or insights here in Clark and the Northern and Central Luzon and how um, it would impact you also in, with the developments here in Clark and also in uh, Central Luzon and how also we at Airspeed can make it happen. I also hope that our continuous rise from pandem pandemic may bring hope for the future to everyone. And that's, it's a pleasure again to see all of you today face to face. Thank you and have a good day. Thank you.